Hello, I'm Ben McCarthy and this is our group project for a virtual reality educational experience. Um, as you've seen, that was just a splash screen. Um, we've got some instructions here to hold, depending on what controller you are. I'm going to hold B. Um, and we're going to go to the hub room first. Uh, this is our menu. Okay, the hub room um, is it was just a room we thought we'd set up uh, just as a tutorial room for anybody unfamiliar with VR. You can walk around, make sure that you know how to move around. So you press A or the main button on the Vive um, to move around. Uh, and just to make sure that everybody knows you can grab these objects, grab and throw. Um, this is just demonstra demonstration purposes. There we go. Okay, so sh hopefully you should be warmed up by this point. Uh, we've got two other environments. I'm going to start off in the museum. Okay, so we start off in the spawn area with the menu. Um, we'll go into the main area just here. Okay, so uh, as you might see, we've got some AI walking around. They go over, look at various objects, walk over to another object. They, they just, they don't interact with objects. They try not to get in your way, but um, they're programmed to go and look at some of the displays. Um, just here, these are some of the displays. They're fully interactable. So here's one. And you can interact with all of these, so you can just swipe them away as I just did. Um, or you can put them back nicely. Just so you get the sense um, of, yes, you're in a museum, but this is virt virtual reality. We can obviously have some fun with this. You can obviously see things up close, which is great. This is a great use of VR. Um, as for all of the displays, these are all prop packs, all of the packs are prop packs so uh, these are, haven't been made but they've been they're there to demonstrate as placeholders what you could do so we felt it important to reference all of our stuff that we could uh, this has um, what it is and where it can be located we thought that was important because um, if you can locate it then you might have seen something in this game that you might want to go and see in real life so and the location should be on there. The paintings around the edge are 2K and 4K maps, mostly 4K. So you can get up really close. Just look at the detail of it. And then move around, look at all of these other different ones. Each of these are interactable. So you can pick them up and have a look at them, as I demonstrated before. Uh, apart from this one, which obviously would be too heavy to lift up. Okay. I'll just carry on around the museum. You can just pick these up. Yep. Okay. Okay, moving on. This was the museum. There's a guitar on the wall. Many paintings. There's a lot of objects here, such as these parts and, and such. Okay, we we'll go over to the main menu. Uh, holding B, we can get the menu back up and we'll go to the space environment. Okay, the idea here was to just juxtapose the museum environment. It's a little bit more sci fi, modern. Uh, you can do a lot more things, obviously history museums and galleries, they're trying to tell you about the past. This could be telling you about space and maybe the future. So that was the idea. Um, so here we are. You can see outside in space. Uh, we have tables and chairs just dotted around. Just uh, You can interact with these chairs. Uh, just to fill the environment. Now here's the fun part. We can go over to this area and we can simulate 
the gravity of Mars or any other planet. Just Mars at the moment, but we could do any other planet. So there we go. And the gravity in this room will have changed now to um, demonstrate that. So you'll be able to throw these chairs around. They should float. Which is fantastic. And the idea was, the closer this gets, some information will pop up. We haven't managed to do that. Um, but the general gist is there. That's what we kind of wanted to do with this. Which is fantastic. Okay. We'll go back. There's a chair just flying around. Okay, now back to the menu. Now we've been up to all of the rooms so far. Uh, now we can restart the game by clicking restart game. And it takes us back here. Um, so I'll just demonstrate that again. Go back in the game. Restart the game. Perfect. Well, I've been Ben. This has been our environment. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. I'm going to quit the game now. Thank you.